Hello my friend, my name is Bayan. In this video I'm gonna show you how to cover some dryer screws with mud. Show you two different ways to do it. To fix a little defect on the dryer caused by the screws missing screws. Okay, here we go. Let's work. Yes, is this a recording? We have a box of uh, finishing mud. Is what I usually use. What I do would be like uh, I'm just gonna grab the mud, new mud straight from the box. I'm just gonna open up, not too much to it. So I'm just gonna. I just need it a little bit harder, so I'm just gonna use it like straight from the box. Just make sure you seal the box really good for not to dry. I'm just gonna use the hook, a four inch knife and six inch knife. So I'm just gonna grab this mud. Just uh, mix it a bit and uh, turn it around. Don't need too much. Straight from the box. And uh, here we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna show you in this area how to do the screws. You see the depth of the screws. This is screws is uh, good screws. The depth of the screws, you can see like this one is a perfect screws is in a little bit, it's not cut the paper, so this screw you hold the dry out very good. Here you see one screw, this one cut the paper. Like you guys can see, this went too deep. We have another screw here, good screw in there, but this one is uh, too deep screws, cut the paper, and then this will not hold the dry out. Luckily we have another one in there, so we're good. We'll show you how to fix that, this one, all right? Okay, so here, I don't like to do like the first coat of screws. What we need in here, all we need is a little bit mud, mud to cover the head of the screw. We don't need to go like a big amount of mud, that means more mud, more sanding. So we just do like that. Is all what we need for the first coat, like uh, like you guys can see, have a little bit mud, just go, you guys can see, leave the mud, the other end of the knife, just clean it up. You see a little bit mud in there, you don't need more than this, so we go this way, and then I come back with the other end of the mud, see, you can see this is screw is uh, the head of the screws is covered and you do not need more mud than this. That's it, like you can go real fast. You can go... I can show you on this one in here. Like, uh, I don't like this method, I could do it, like you go but this would be, and then you go up, and then you clean it down. This will be more sanding, like a, you just not have to sand the, the screw head, but you gotta sand the space between the screws, right? So that would take more time, more work, more material. Yeah, I like to do the first method. I like it better than this one, for the reason to be less sanding and uh, less work. Now I, I will show you how to fix the missing screw hole. You can see this is a missing screw hole on the dryer. What happens is when I uh, try to put the screws and miss the studs. So I stay the hole in there. Here you know, like you guys can see. The majority of the tapers they just do that and put the mud on top. You can see what happened, right? Okay. Here is uh, how I do it. First, I just gonna put the mud, like you see, I didn't push it in. Still there. I put the mud, 
clean it up and then I bag it in. I push it in. The reason is the mud that I put in there gonna hold the paper. So this is the right way to do it. See, this is nice and clean. While the sad one, you guys can see the paper is still there, like not hold very good. So this paper is loose underneath. So you just gotta put the mud and then you push it in. You guys can see the difference. The paper would not uh, pop out. Okay, here is a screw who went too deep, like you guys can see. The paper is popping out the same way. I'm just gonna put the mud, clean it. I have some paper that is loose, I just push it in. A little bit more mud and uh, we're good to go. The first coat I use a 4 inch knife, just use the end of it. A six inch knife works too, as soon as you just use the little end of it, right? Like, works, work the same, just gonna put a lot of mud. And then I show you here, like I just put this mud in here a few minutes ago. For the, for the second coat, I can use a six inch knife. We have the first coat on, like you can see. Just a little bit mud in there. Now when you're doing the second coat on the screws, you just can load a little bit more mud. Make a little bit wire, see? This, uh, the second coat that I put there, it did cover the first coat. So like you guys can see here, you see there first coat. Then when I put the second coat, I just load a little bit more mud on it. And then I just go a little bit wider and I just clean it up. Like, uh, so you can see there, the first coat was there, now it's the second coat. Yeah, just make sure that uh, the second coat is a little bit wider than the first coat. That way it will be covered. Usually two coats is good enough, but sometimes if you think it is not, need a little bit more mud, just go with the third coat on. Nice and easy, guys. Yes, guys, if you have any question about how to do the screws, how to finish it, leave your question on the comments below. Thank you very much. I love you guys. See you on the next video.